Hello everyone, welcome to Red's Check. Myself Karthik Punnaswamy. Today we are going to look at what is a constructor overloading and what is constructor overriding in this video. So we have discussed, we have explained about a uh, constructor in detail in our previous video. If you guys haven't watched that video, please go through that. The link has been shared in the right hand side of this particular video. Please, you can watch that video to get in and out of constructor. So here we will be concentrating on overloading in constructor. So I have a class created which is like a class student which contains int role number and string name and I have a demo class which is a main class which in which I have a main method. So here I am creating an object for this particular class student. So student s1 is equal to new student of. So as we know that using the new keyword so we are creating an object for the student class and using the student of which is a constructor. So we are actually uh, JVM is actually allocating the memory for this particular object. So based on the instance variable so what we have in this class student class so it is actually going to allocate the memory for those instance variables right so here let's say s1 is got created let me go and execute this program so i'm just trying to print out the variables which stored in the s1 object so if you see here the name is um, appearing as null and roll number is zero the reason for that is the name is a string um, so the default value of string is null and roll number is nothing but integer so that is why it is zero the default value is zero so now Let's say if I don't want to go with the default constructor, if I want to define with my uh, own, uh, you know, constructor, which means like a customized or parameterized constructor in which I want to create an object with some uh, values initialized when I'm creating itself, right? That is where I will go for uh, my own parameterized constructor. The way how we can write is, so let me copy this. So let's say that is a, we call it a student s2 and in which uh, let me print the values as well. Uh, so s2 name and s2 roll number so now here instead of calling the default um, constructor let me pass the value which i want to initialize for those variables so let's say the roll number right so let's say i want to have with um, roll number as 101 and the name as let's say red says tech yeah so it shows it sees that like you know uh, it is displaying that there is nothing like constructor defined here so we have to define a constructor here so let me go and execute and create a constructor here so the way how we can create a constructor is nothing but it should not have any return type and it should be the same as class name so it should be student of with to open uh, this parenthesis and within here we have to define it so here i have to define with integer one uh, type and string right so let's say int um roll number and then string name so if i give like this so when i execute this particular uh, line so when when it calls this particular student of 101 comma register check so 101 the value is been passed to this particular argument roll number and register check will be passed to this particular name but if you see here there is error coming up for the default one it says like you know we haven't defined it so what it means is that this is a kind of a thumb rule in which whenever we define any constructor in a class so we have to define our default constructor as well so if you don't define the default constructor uh, default constructor it is going to throw this compile time error so it means like i need to just define the default constructor which is nothing but student of oh sorry student of constructor so basically this is the default constructor and this is our customized constructor right so when we create an object for s1 so we are calling the default constructor which actually comes here and this is how it is going to allocate the memory uh, basically it is going to allocate the memory as well as uh, assign the initialize the values which will be our default values and when we are creating the student s2 object it is going to call this particular uh, constructor which is it is going to pass 101 and let's just check but here we have to so here we are able to get the value 101 and red just check right but how we are going to assign the values to this particular variable right so here we have to define it so that is nothing but roll number which is equal to roll number and name is equal to name okay so if i do like this so what does it mean so i am going to get the value from this particular variable and i'm going to assign to this variable right but let me go and execute it so there will be an error uh, there will be an issue but i will show you what it is so now you guys know that so we have created two objects s1 and also s2 so 
S1 is created with the help of default constructor and S2 gets created with the help of our customized constructor, right? Let me go and execute this program. I will show you the issue. Okay, see here, right? So S1 name is null, S1 roll number is 0. How it is, this is also null and 0, right? So the reason is that, so whatever the value we passed, it is not assigned to the variable which was defined inside this particular class. So how we can define that? So we have to specifically mention that we are going to assign the value from this roll number into the roll number which is defined here right so this can be achieved with the help of a keyword called this okay and here also i have to define with the keyword this so if i say this keyword so if i if i, if I select this one it is going to um highlight this one right and it means like this dot roll number means it is going to represent this particular roll number uh, which is defined in this class okay now let me go and execute this program here you go so now for s1 it is null and zero for s2 it is assigned the values red check and 101 so basically here we have one co constructor which is default constructor which is nothing but no argument constructor so this is nothing but a default constructor and there is another constructor we defined which is our customized constructor which has some uh, arguments integer and string so here we have we have overloaded the constructor in which um, we have the same constructor name but different arguments number of arguments we pass to the constructor and this is the way we can able to overload the constructor and this is how we usually works when we want to create any object with initialized values in the beginning itself so hope you guys understand this one here we are going to look into uh, how we can define the constructor overriding in java so basically i have defined a class called parent so when we say overriding it means like we are going to override the methods or the constructors in child class so since it is constructor overriding we are trying to override the constructor in child class so then definitely we should have parent class and child class so i have defined a class called parent which is a parent class in which i have a parent uh, constructor i have and also i have a method m1 and similarly i have a class called public class child which extends the parent so since i use the extends keyword so this child class is extending all the properties from the parent class and here i'm going to create an object for the child class c using the keyword new and child of so here i'm trying to create um, a child class object with the constructing the object with the help of child of right and i'm going to call c.m1 of the reason i'm getting c.m1 is nothing but since this m1 is a method from parent class since this this child class is extending the uh, parent class i am able to inherit this m1 class in here let me go and execute and show you guys yeah here we can able to display the inside m1 but in case of constructor so the parent class constructors won't be applicable for child class constructor let me go and show you an example so here let's say if i want to create a constructor of the child class let's say child of let's say int x okay so this is a constructor right so this is a constructor meaning there is no return type and this particular uh, constructor name is same as um, the class name and we have some you know, you know arguments inside right so here i am getting the compile time error the reason is that so if the constructor uh, when, when when we have this error message right it clearly mentioned that this child of is undefined so basically this child of this constructor is not defined inside this child class if this child class extends the parent class constructor then definitely it should not throw this error but the reason why it is throwing this error is that constructors you know uh, are not applicable for overriding meaning that the parent class constructors won't be visible here in the child class if i want to avoid this error then i have to define the child class constructor explicitly now the error is gone so here it clearly um, tells us that the child class um, um, the parent class uh, constructors won't be applicable for child class so it, it says that the overriding concept is not applicable for uh, constructor and and hence there is no inheritance concept for the constructor so this is how the actual uh, overriding and overloading actually works in java hope you guys understand this particular two concepts in java so uh, i will share this uh, source code in the description please take the code and uh, try to play around in your eclipse with this code and see how it goes and also post your comments what you guys feel about uh, the output of this program in your instance 
and i will be happy to assist if you have any error or any issues and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video guys until then bye bye